what's good everyone welcome back to another pointless creep limited video on the creep limited youtube channel uh yeah i'm back i'm back at uploading long videos so yeah now sorry i didn't really upload much over the past few months uh you know haven't really uh had time to upload and you know i've uh, had a lot of things going on uh irl and all that stuff so all right, besides all that yapping that I just said, uh, let's get to the video. So if you didn't know, uh, there's a YouTuber out there with like about 30 million subscribers known as uh, SS Sniper Wolf. Now, recently, if you've looked at YouTube or if you looked at big dramas that happened over YouTube, like on YouTube, over some stuff on YouTube, then you probably know who she is. Or if you just know a bunch of YouTubers, you probably know who she is. So, yeah. Anyways, the main reason as to why this is a thing is because another YouTuber uh, known as Jax Films made like another channel that, you know, had a bunch of videos like posting, like criticizing her content, how it's like very childish, very, you know, cringy to watch it. Sometimes I honestly have to agree with Jax Films. And, you know, if someone criticizes your content, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I think, honestly, when someone criticizes your content, you should probably just take the criticism. Uh, don't get mad over it because it's someone else's opinion. And, you know, they're not, like, trying to send hate towards you know, that certain individual or something like that. And, yeah. But, uh, guess what? Sniper Wolf did get mad with the little criticisms. Like, it wasn't even, like, that much of criticism was mainly just making like jokes about her content all that stuff and she got like kind of mad to the point where you know she made a post somewhere on like instagram uh, saying that she wanted to pull up to his house now listen 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 over someone making some light jokes and some light criticism about you brother oh my goodness and she actually like posted a picture of her being like getting like taking a picture of the lawn of his house and it was kind of you know bad for her to do in my opinion it's very you know messed up to do just over something that you know something like that someone said to you and especially since it's on the internet on youtube you know there are people there are crazy people out there on the internet and you know it can go really bad for jack's films and you know she had probably yeah she deleted the post like like hours later or something like that because she was getting criticism for it and you know not the best thing to do now she didn't really apologize and she was kind of still you know making jokes about it on her instagram like one post she made was her and her sister walking somewhere or like walking outside and you know make a slight joke like she said want me to pull up again or i don't know what she exactly said but i remember there was an image you know i saw a few videos on this situation so you know don't take my word for it but if you search shit up somewhere on youtube somewhere else on youtube you'll probably see what she said now like this is the time where like this whole drama started to be known across youtube across the internet basically and everyone went crazy like crazy 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 like you cannot go a single day on like YouTube's recommended without seeing this drama or some a video about this drama by like smaller creators or something. Like that. Yeah, smaller creators. And it, you know, you couldn't get it out of your mind if you're watching YouTube videos. You could just see it. Oh, Sniper Wolf did this. Sniper Wolf did that. And you know, it's something definitely like worth reporting because it's something that it's an example of how you should not act as a youtuber even if you have 30 million subscribers around there and you know people make fun of you like made multiple videos on you it's not the best thing to pull up to someone's house and then sit and then threatens to do something i mean she did threaten like not really vague threats but still she you know base essentially doxed jack's films which isn't the best thing to do it's horrible and she should probably get punished for like a stri like a strike or like a one week termination or something like that you know i'm being generous like i'm being generous to be honest like for the 
happens. I think at least like a one week or like two weeks suspension on YouTube because that's kind of messed up. It's very messed up actually. I'm not gonna say kind of because it's very messed up to just, you know, dox someone online with how many followers, how many and how many subscribers you have, what a big fan base you have. It's, you know, messed up and I don't really think now she like I mean she said that she was you know apologize she apologized for it but it wasn't really a good apology and I don't think she was very sincere now you may be asking what did YouTube do for this what did YouTube do because of this well I'm not gonna pull up a screenshot you can go uh, look at other videos but YouTube stated that received a temporary monetization suspension so if you don't know what monetization is it's basically like you know a way to get money off of your videos like putting ads all that stuff and she just got a suspension youtube did not state uh you know how long the suspension was for like it could have been a day like an hour probably not an hour but like a day a week a month six months a year forever actually that's not temporary. it's not fair because it's temporary but still we don't really know how long she got the suspension like uh the monetary suspension thing and in the same post that you know the official youtube account made on twitter it stated that you know both sides were wrong now listen I, someone making some slight jokes and slight you like multiple videos on it but some slight criticism versus pulling up to someone's house and saying to like pull up somewhere or something like that and you know essentially doxing them online on instagram where millions of people can see it which one's worse if you say the uh second option you have a brain if you say the first option you're brain dead now my overall you know opinion about all this stuff is sniper wolf was in the wrong definitely 100 percent and i don't think i sh we should really like forgive her for like anything until she actually makes a very sincere apology like and you know takes a break or something like that and you know it's crazy how even her fans are you know de defending all this it's crazy how her fans are defending all of this just because you know she's a woman and you know people like women especially on the internet get simped on by a lot of you know people and when i say people i mean 50 year old kid not kids 50 year old people yeah and uh yeah that's it for the video today it's a short it's kind of not really that short but kind of a short um explanation of what's been happening online recently over a few youtubers and as you know being a small little youtuber that makes videos on random stuff that i like and other people like as well i figured i was you know justified in talking about all of this and giving my opinion which is pretty similar to a lot of people and what they think so uh, yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video if you want to see screenshots uh, i'd recommend you searching up you know swipe the sniper wolf drama all that stuff this is basically just informing you about what happened what like you know general summary of what happened and yeah i hope you all have a great day stay safe stay blessed and stay amazing okay that died